Hello, long time no see. Um, I thought I would do a what's in my bag video. This is my bag. I don't know if you can really tell, but it has a little scalloped pocket here. And if you know me, you know I love scallops. Um, okay, so talk about what's in the bag. Um, first of all, um, first of all, I carry this with me everywhere. I fill it with water every morning and it keeps it cold. And this is my favorite part. Um, without touching anything, pops open. And I like that I can pop this open and drink water without touching anything. Like even if you have a regular water bottle, you end up having to unscrew the lid. So that's nice. And it has like a little handle if you're going for a walk and don't want to take your bag. It's so heavy though. When I fill it up with water in the morning, my bag weighs a ton. But by the end of the day, I've, drink, I've had the water and my bag gets lighter. Carry my sunglasses with me. These are just like really basic black sunglasses. If I'm doing like an outfit where I want my sunglasses to match, I'll put on those sunglasses before I leave the house. But this is if I'm like out and happen to need them. And then this is the little bag. It has like gold daisy sunglasses on it. It came with another pair of sunglasses. <laughs> this seems like really unnecessary and large to carry around with me everywhere, but I carry a little like hand fan and it's cool. It has like a, a water tank in the top so I can like mist myself. But it charges with the USB on my computer so it doesn't even need batteries. It's just very handy. I go for walks a lot outside and it's only June, like June 18th I think today. And it's already like over 100 degrees outside, so I'm thinking um, that's really going to come in handy this summer. Um, obviously, cell phone. Uh, this is my, I don't know if you can see my case. It's one of my like vintage retro pattern things. Um, and I have one of those pop things on the back, which I think they're, I think they're like so ugly, but they come in handy because my hands just aren't big enough to like reach the top, top corner. Anyway, let's see what else. Apple earpods, airpods, headphones without uh, without a cord, and they come in handy actually more at home. Like I keep them in my bag if I'm not using them, but at home they come in handy a lot. I'll put music on on my computer, hook these up, walk around the house, and I don't have to like carry my phone around with me or anything. Um, I carry a lip oil with me. This is Ulta Tinted Juice Infused Lip Oil uh, in tea rose it's like a really pretty I'm actually wearing it right now although I have um NYX Susie sweet Susie I'll look it up and uh like write it on the video or something um I have that underneath so it's adding a little bit more of a pink to this but um I love this I have really 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 chapped lips and this stuff is the only thing that seems to actually work for me. Like chapstick doesn't work, but these lip oils from Ulta are like a godsend. Um, I keep a little roller ball of the perfume that I'm wearing. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce this. It's an Armani one and it's like, I don't know, I'll link it, but it's, there's no, I'd butcher it if I tried saying it. Um, pocket mirror, Alain Delon. He's like kissing himself in a, in the mirror in Purple Noon. I have a whole series of these on my website where it's m mirror scenes from movies on pocket mirrors. Thought that was kind of clever. Um, I keep uh, mints. These are Simply Natural Organic Mints. I bought them on Amazon. And I actually, um, if you've been following my blog, you know, I was really sick in uh, December, January, and I was well for February and then I got sick again in March. But the thing that I had, it's called C. diff. And I was like researching it because we, my doctors can't figure out how I got it. It's um, an infection that most people get if they've been on antibiotics or if they've been in a hospital. And I hadn't had either uh, exposure to either of those when I got the infection the first time. And apparently um, there's an ingredient in chewing gum that can make you, like it can, um, affect the bacteria in your colon or something. This is getting really TMI, but like anyway, um, chewing gum can possibly cause it. Like there's new studies that show that. So, um, I used to chew like a pack of Trident a day. I was just like a big gum person. And, um, I decided it's the fake sugar in that that can cause it. So I cut out fake sugars and it's actually in everything. Like I went to the grocery store. I looked in the checkout aisle 
um, you know, like the checkout lane where they have all the gum and everything. And I was just turning every pack over, looking at all of the ingredients and every single one has fake sugar in it. Like all of them. Even there's one Trident called like Simply Trident. It has fake sugar in it. Um, so anyway, I went on Amazon and I found these. The only ingredients are cane sugar, tapioca powder, and peppermint oil. And um, they're really strong. They're very chalky, but they're, they do the job. <laughs> this is kind of weird, but I carry a, it's a dry shampoo pen. And it's like, it looks like a pen, but it has a, a spray on it. So if I'm out and it's like hot and I'm get, getting sweaty, a lot of the stuff in my bag is like, I was hot and sweaty and I needed this. I have like this, the fan, we'll get to the deodorant. Then I have uh, some snacks. This is more like an emergency, don't stop at McDonald's, Kate, thing. You know, like I get hungry while I'm out, I haven't eaten anything and I'm like, all right, fries. <laughs> um, it's the natural solution. Um, so that's why I keep these with me to prevent McDonald's happening. Um, I have chocolate, almond, sea salt, granola bars from coffee, and then uh, mango um, fruit strips from Target. It's their Simply Balanced brand. I think it's a Target brand. Like, I can only get them at Target, I'm assuming. That's what it is. This is my um, battery, external battery thing when my phone runs out. It has like a built-in cord that connects inside. And I, like when I bought this, there actually weren't great reviews. I just bought it because it was really pretty, but um, it's really served me well. Um, I think I've been able to charge it fully multiple times on one of these, like this being charged once. And um, when I do plug it into my phone, it charges pretty quick. So I like that. Um, I just have a selfie stick. I, I've been doing one second a day and this is coming in handy because like, um, almost everything was just me shooting like this or me trying like I'd go for a walk at the park and I would like try and prop it up on a tree or something to try and get a video of me walking in the park so this is nice and it has um this one has a remote so you can take pictures like when you fully extend the the selfie stick you can hit the remote and it connects with bluetooth to your phone and then it also has a tripod that folds out in the bottom so that if you don't want to hold the selfie stick you can actually put it down and take a picture and the remote disconnects so you can put it down, take the remote, go over, stand somewhere, and hit the button and it'll take a picture. And I like that it folds up pretty tiny. It's not that big. And it's very light. Um, my wallet. This actually matches the bag. They're both, uh, both from Kohl's. And um, I mean, you don't need to see what's in the wallet. Okay, I feel like a horrible person for having these in my bag because I know they're not good for the environment, but I carry straws with me. I just, I have sensitive teeth or gums or something and uh, drinking cold liquids sometimes just isn't very comfortable. And um, I'm also just a very uncoordinated drinker. Like if I have a cup and there's ice in there, I have no idea how you drink that without a straw. It's like, I, I end up just like the ice clunks against my teeth and does anybody else have this problem? It's like, I don't know. I feel like no matter what I do, I've tried so many different ways of like, like, you know, moving my mouth to like not get the ice in there. And it's like, nothing works. It's just very, I'm very uncoordinated with it. I could drink out of like a water bottle. Of course, that's also plastic, but you know what I mean? I could, you could drink like this, but like when it's like a cup and you have to like maneuver the liquid into your mouth, I don't know. I just carry these with me now because a lot of places don't have straws anymore which is very cool and I support it and eventually maybe I'll get past using straws but in the meantime I just I need to carry them with me oh, I'm almost done oh. <laughs> stray french fry um I carry this it's just like a reusable bag so it makes up for the straws a little bit huh um but it like expands I could put groceries in here and stuff so that I don't have to use plastic bags. Oh, <laughs> my deodorant. This is just like one of the ones you could get for travel. And it's a Dove one. It isn't even the deodorant I normally use, but um, it's tiny and it does the trick when I'm sweaty. Just like go in the bathroom, put on a little deodorant, spray on dry shampoo, fan myself off with the mister. I actually carry toilet seat covers. Ever since I was sick, I've just been pretty paranoid about like 
bathroom stuff. Uh, I also carry a pack of tissues and I use these in case it's a bathroom that only has a hand dryer. And then I also use them if the handle, okay, tell me if this bothers you too. Bathrooms where there's a pool handle on the inside of the bathroom. So everybody who went to the bathroom and didn't wash their hands went over there and touched the handle to open the door. I think it's the stupidest design flaw in bathrooms. But anyway, I always get a paper towel if they have them. And I use the paper towel to like grip the door and open it. And bathrooms where all they have are hand dryers, you can't do that. So I use the tissues. Um, this is also very, this is so TMI, but you know what? Like maybe, maybe somebody will think it's a good idea and I'll save someone like getting sick in a public restroom or something. But I also carry a little bag of, um, rubber gloves with me. And when I use public restrooms, I use these because I just figure like, you don't know who, you know, what germs are in there. And I mean, honestly, I think if like ideally I think that bathrooms would have like a little like dispenser of gloves you put them on you go in the bathroom then you're done you throw out the gloves you still wash your hands and then you leave and we'd probably all be less sick um then I also I just have like some extra pads and I'm ending the video on pads so that's what it looks like um but yeah that's um that's what's in my bag right now some days like if I'm just running out and um I know that I'll be quick I won't probably be going for a walk so I won't need the fan and you know I won't be taking pictures and I don't need the selfie stick I won't be using any public restrooms I'll just like throw my wallet my phone um the mints and the lip oil in a smaller bag um because I feel like I could get by on just those four things, you know, but like most days I take, I take all of this everywhere with me. Um, I mean, it is, it can be kind of heavy, but I feel like it's worth it for the convenience, you know, like how many times I haven't stopped at McDonald's because I had water and snacks with me or how many times, um, I would have had to stop walking because I was too overheated and I, whipped out my little fan, misted myself with some cool water and kept walking. You know, it's, um, it's all stuff that comes in handy, you know, and, and I think it's a cute, um, a cute bag. So I guess that's it for today. Um, thank you for watching. Hopefully it won't be two months until my next video. Um, I guess that's it. See you next time.